episode starts in the aftermath of a hollow attack on Jigo's home. His father wakes him up in an unconventional way, playfully attacking him. Irritated, Ichigo questions him about his sister's injuries from the previous night's incident. However, to Ichigo's surprise, his family appears to have no recollection of the event, attributing the damage to a mundane truck accident. Suspicious of the explicable memory loss, Ichigo entertains the notion that Nigami may be involved. He ponders whether they have written to the Soul Society following the encounter. Then we see Ichigo's school, where we were introduced to Inoue and Tatsuki. We came to know that Inoue has a weird taste in food. Some more friends are shown in the series. They are talking about the accident. However, the calm is shattered when Furukiya suddenly appeared disguised as a transfer student. Ichigo is taken aback by her presence and is promptly threatened into silence. He gets irritated and asks her, why did she not return to Soul Society? Rukia tells him she can't as most of her powers were taken by him last night. She is stuck in a human body called Gigai until she can regain her abilities. Despite his reluctance, Ichigo finds himself embroiled in Shinigami duties once again, when a hollow threatens the safety of the living. Meanwhile, a sinister spirit stalks in a way leading to a dangerous confrontation with with the hollows and her tragic transformation. On the street, Rukia and Ichigo encounters Inoue after she nearly gets run over by a car. Rukia sees a suspicious bruise on Inoue's leg. Ichigo tells Rukia about Inoue's brother, her only family, who died three years ago, which shocks Rukia. As the episode progresses, Rukia's presence becomes increasingly disruptive, especially when she takes up residence in Ichigo's closet and borrows his sister's clothes. The stakes are raised when Ichigo's home is attacked once again, exposing the true identity of the hollow. The episode concludes with Tatsuki and Inoue facing a new threat.